The NFLPA president, Eric Winston, was not happy about those comments. He said, quote, our CBA definition of voluntary is the same as the actual definition and prohibits anyone from threatening players to participate in voluntary workouts. This is precisely the reason players negotiated strict work rules and bright lines when it comes to offseason activities. All right, Orlovsky, back with us. Who's right and who's wrong? I'm on Tom Coughlin's side, and I'm a little bit of an old school guy. I get that, but I always believe that we should be together. You know, I understand the difference between voluntary and mandatory. The reality is that's just there for money. You can't find me if I'm not there, but we always loved the teams that I was part of, and this didn't necessarily equate to wins and losses, but it meant something being together. It meant something in April, in May, and June being together because you know what else isn't mandatory is wins. Team camaraderie. That is a voluntary thing, so... The great thing about it is when your stars, when your stars are your, your tempo setters, when they're around all the time, that's how your organization really gets better. Because this is an organization, a team right now, that's lacking some leadership. It's got some off-the-field troubles with one of their stars. It's lose, it lost their, their franchise quarterback, and now this will be an area that Nick Foles helps. But And everyone always points like, oh, Tom Brady doesn't go. Well, Tom Brady doesn't go because he can't get through security carrying his six rings through the metal <laughs> detector, guys. Like, there's a difference. And so I believe – that your young stars should always be around dictating or setting the tempo for your organization. Yeah, it doesn't bother me at all, actually, that Ramsey and Smith don't show up for these workouts. They're working out. I think we're fooling sure. ourselves if we're trying to so – there were people out there that said, oh, well, they're just not doing anything. No, they're doing their own workouts that work best for them. And if they don't want to be there for voluntary workouts, it's voluntary. It, to the point, it, the definition actually says voluntary. I get it why Tom Brady doesn't show up. I, I actually I, – I've never been on an NFL team, obviously, oh. but <laughs> I actually don't – think that I there's anything the wrong with this. Well, I do with my outfit, but. <laughs> I don't want to be a pirate. Anyway, hold on. Stand by, stand by. Hold on a second. <laughs> let, let me lend some, some, some sensibility to the proceedings here, okay? We're talking about Jalen Ramsey. We're talking about a guy who is the first one to give his opinion on how everybody else on every other team goes about their business. And now you're just coming off the most disappointing season of any team in the NFL. I don't care what other team you want to name. No one was a bigger disappointment than the Jaguars were last year. And a huge part of it was a lack of leadership. And here's your best player and your leader not there to lead. So I understand what you're saying. Do I think he's working out? Of course he's working yeah. out. That's not. Is he a great player? Absolutely. Here. He's a great player. But you've said many times, and so have others, just because you're the best player doesn't make you the leader. And yeah. in this case, he, I think, relinquishes the mantle of being the leader by not being there at this time. I understand Eric Winston is going to fight back against this. The NFLPA is because it's the only thing they got in the sure. collective bargaining agreement was we don't have to show up for all this stuff. So they're going to fight back on that. But the reality is the great teams, you're 100% right. Tom Brady always used to show up. Now he's 42 and he's got six championships. He can do what he wants in April. But the really great teams are together right now at times like this. I think it's a big mistake. Well, we always hear, too, in sports, the little things become the big things. And so, yes, this is a little thing. I'm not making a mountain out of a molehill. But when your team and your organization is in a unique spot, like we talked about the expectations last year, if you're the star, if you want to be the face or the leader, do the little things. Whoa. Is it annoying? It's Jacksonville. I've been in worse cities in April. Yeah, Ramsey's got to show up on the field. I mean, sure. no doubt about that. But I don't think this is a big deal. All right, we'll see. Uh, as usual, there are lots of opinions, and I'm right.